coach coming from WJET out of Erie. We were talking to David about how this is kind of an Otters reunion this season for you guys. Can you just talk about the journey, you know, being able to re reunite with these guys this season? Well, it's been very exciting for me. Um, you know, obviously getting to the NHL, but also getting to the NHL and coaching some former players that I coached and um, some ones that I have very great memories of. Uh, uh, Connor Brown um, early on and winning a, uh, a scoring championship for him. Uh, Connor obviously getting drafted first overall and Warren Fogel uh, winning a championship with. Um, you know, it's pretty special for me. Uh, but also, I guess we capped it off with uh, uh, coming to Pittsburgh and Buffalo, playing you know teams around the area. That um, and then just seeing all the Otters jerseys in the um, in the stands. It's uh, it's special for us. How has Connor changed since you know you had him in Erie when he's you know just a kid and he's grown up now? Yeah, it's surprising how fast time goes and how much they grow up and how much they change. But um, as much as they change, a lot of things still stay the same. He's still uh, a dominant hockey player, still competitive, and um, still a player or a player that all the um, his teammates really respect. Chris, what did you make of your team's bounce back effort today? I thought we did a lot of good things. Um, I, you know, the goal scoring, especially um, early on in the game, we were able to get up to that lead. And obviously, it's a lot easier game to play when we have that. Um, but then also, um, Picks played extremely well, making some huge saves, and he really earned that shutout. And unfortunately, it's not his shutout, um, just because he got pulled for the, uh, the spotter for you know two minutes. But um, you know, in our minds, it's definitely his shutout. And how about the leadership group stepping up in the way they did? Obviously, McDavid scores 98 seconds into this one, or 108 seconds into this one, and then Darnell Nurse two goals. Just their will to kind of lead this group by example. Yeah, no, they they really stepped up, and those two players you talked about, Darnell and Connor, really led. Uh, Darnell in the back end, Connor in the front, and um, you know we need we need those guys to step up. And usually, you win and lose in games with your best players being your best players, and they definitely were tonight. 2-0 in Buffalo, 2 nothing in Pittsburgh to a certain point. You have to start thinking, oh my goodness gracious, it's deja vu. Yes, it was just in the uh, third period started. It was definitely, I was thinking about when are we going to get that third goal. And get the third goal, it kind of finishes the game, eliminates any push that they're going to have, and we were able to get that. A little bit later than I would have liked, but uh, we did get it. Chris, when Calvin walked back into the room after doing some media post game, there's a huge cheer. As a coach, when you hear that for your backup goaltender, you know what's that like? Uh, guys really respect Calvin, just how hard he works and what he does, and and he's a good hockey player. But you know, when those guys who aren't um, front and center of the team all the time and um, have success, and you saw it similar to uh, in the shootout in LA when um, Derek Ryan got the shootout goal. Um, same with picks when he got the shutouts. Um, you know, the, when they have that success, guys get excited. And they want to share that, and it's a it's a good sign of a good team.